Hello everyone, this is Dr. E and for today, pag-usapan naman natin ang mga special products ng ating biotech. Ang multiplication ng ating mga polynomials, specifically mga binomials, ay uh, isa sa mga skills na kailangan nating uh, ma-master pagdating sa algebra dahil dito natin nagagamit yung ating mga exponential or law of exponent rule para mas makuha natin yung simplest form ng ating mga operations ng polynomials gamit ang rule na ito. So, by definition, when we multiply two binomials, the distributive property can be easily remembered as the FOIL method. So, alam na alam natin yung FOIL method na yan. F means product of the first terms. O is product of the outside terms. I is product of the inside term. At L would be the product of the last terms. So, yan yung tinatawag nating FOIL at acronym yan para matandaan natin kung paano tayo mag-multiply ng ating mga polynomials. So, let's say meron tayong dalawang binomial dito. Meron tayong y minus 12 times y plus 4 at 2x minus 4 times 7x plus 5. And if we multiply these binomials using the FOIL method, simpleng simple lang siya dahil kailangan lang natin i-multiply si y minus 12 by y plus 4. So, FOIL method means first, first term to first term. So, we have y squared and then y times 4 would be positive 4y. And then negative 12 times y is negative 12y. At negative 12 times 4 would be negative 48. There. So, meron na tayo ngayong foil method na tinatawag or nagawa na natin foil method natin ang gagawin nila lang natin is to simplify our terms by combining like terms so pwede natin combine si 4y minus 12y and 4y minus 12y is equal to negative 8y so ang sagot natin diyan would be y squared minus 8y minus 48 at ito yung tinatawag nating foil method. So, yan yung pag-multiply natin dun sa ating first set of binomials. At dun sa second set of binomials naman natin, meron tayong 2x minus 4 times 7x plus 5. And if we multiply this using the same method, so unahin natin yung first term. 2x times 7x and 2x times 7x is equal to 14x squared. And then yung outer, so 2x times 5 is 10x, positive. And then yung inner, dahil yan yung i, negative 4 times 7 is negative 28x. And then yung last term would be negative 4 times 5, which is negative 20. And from here, combine like terms, so 10x minus 28x is going to give us negative 18x and then bring down lang natin si 14x squared minus 20 at alam natin na ito ay ang simplest form ng ating quadratic term or quadratic um, polynomial na nakuha natin by using the FOIL method. At yan yung tinatawag natin FOIL method when we multiply binomials or any polynomials for that matter. Now, we're specifically working on binomials at ang binomials yan yung mga polynomials with two terms dahil meron tayong tinatawag na special products. I can special product na yan is a special way on multiplying our binomials Pwede pa rin natin gamitin si FOIL method, pero with this particular rule, mas mapapadali at mas makakakuha tayo ng ibang pattern para makapag-multiply ng ating binomial. So, yung ating first set ng squaring a binomial or yung ating tinatawag na special product would be the square of A plus B would equal to A squared plus twice of AB plus B squared. At A minus B, quantity squared is going to be A squared minus twice of AB plus b squared. So, gamitin natin yung um, special case ng mga binomials na yan at kunin natin yung mga products na yan 
which is x minus 6 squared and 5x plus 3z quantity squared using this method. So yung una natin gagamitin is yung special product or pamamaraan kung paano natin i-multiply si x minus 6 squared. Now, common mistake ng ating mga estudyante pag nakakita tayo ng exponent, akala natin, i-distribute lang natin to at meron na tayong x squared minus 6 squared, which is, mali po yan, hindi po tama yung ganitong method. At ang gagawin natin, when we see x minus 6 quantity squared is to expand our expression and make it like so. So, meron tayong x minus 6 times x minus 6. But since we have a special product as x minus 6 squared, so, i-apply natin yung ating formula for a minus b quantity squared ay equal daw siya sa a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So, paano natin gagamitin yung special product na yan? Si a natin is si x at si b natin is si 6. So, si a ay magiging x quantity squared minus twice of a which is x and b which is 6 plus b squared which is 6 squared. So, yan yung paggamit ng ating special product and if we simplify this, it will give us x squared minus 2 times x times 6 is going to be negative 12x plus 36. At yan ngayon, yung product natin for x minus 6 squared or x minus 6 quantity squared na nakuha natin without using the FOIL method but using the special products. So that means kung meron tayong 5x plus 3z, quantity square, pwede natin siyang makuha using yung special product natin dahil yung ating pattern would be A plus B quantity square, which will give us, according to the formula nandyan sa, sa taas, it will equal to the square of A plus twice of AB plus B squared. So, ang gagawin lang natin, alam natin na si A ay si 5X at si B ay si 3 Z. So, that means meron tayong 5x quantity square plus twice of AB. A is 5x and B is 3z plus B squared which is 3z squared. 3z squared. Now, notice na yung ating mga expression ay nasa loob ng parentheses so that we'll not be able to make a common error that most students do na hinalilimutan nilang square yung ating mga numerical coefficients. So, 5x raised to the second power is basically 5 squared times x squared. So, meron tayong 25x squared plus 2 times 5x plus 3z. So, multiply natin yung ating mga numerical Coefficient, 2 times 5 is 10 times 3 is 30. So 30xz plus 3z quantity squared. It's 3 squared and z squared, which will give us 9z squared. So ito ngayon, yung ating magiging product. At kung kailangan natin masimplify siya with, by combining like terms, pwede natin siya i-combine by like terms. But unfortunately, wala na tayong masimplify dahil pare-pareha silang unique terms na hindi na natin pwedeng i-combine. So ang sagot natin dyan would be 25x squared plus 30xz plus 9z squared using our special product. So, yan yung tinatawag nating special case ng ating binomial, which is square of binomials. So, pwede tayong uh, a plus b quantity square or a minus b quantity square and we'll be able to multiply these products or multiply these binomials by using this formula. Now, Parehas pa rin po ba siya kapag kami multiply natin siya using the FOIL method? Siyempre, parehas pa rin yan. So, let's say, itetest lang natin kung si x minus 6 quantity squared, which is x minus 6 times x minus 6, would still be equal to this term kapag gumamit tayo ng FOIL method. So, subukan natin. x times x is x squared minus 6x minus 6x plus 36. Combining like terms, x squared minus 12x plus 36 
which is basically the same value na nakuha natin dun sa ating special product. So, pagdating sa buhay, the more options you have, the better. So, meron kayong option to use the FOIL method. Or if you think that using our special case of binomials will help you better in accurately multiplying binomials, Aba, eh, gamitin nyo yan kung sa tingin ninyo ay mas magiging porta komportable kayo sa pag-multiply ng binomials using this method. But make sure na mag-qualify siya as square of binomials like this bago nyo magamit yung ating special case na ito for a special uh, multiplication process ng ating mga binomials. Now, meron tayong tinatawag na sum and difference formula. At yung sum and difference formula, kung meron daw tayong A plus B times A minus B na pattern, ang kanyang product would simply equal to the square of A minus the square of B. So, paano natin gagamitin yung formula na yan na tinatawag natin sum and difference when we multiply binomials of this case tulad nito? Mapapansin ninyo na ito ay magpa-fall under the difference of uh, binomial dahil meron tayong 5a plus 3 at meron tayong 5a minus 3. So meron tayong a plus b times a minus b. So sabi dito, kung gagamitin natin yung formula na nandito which is sum and difference, uh, multiplying sum and difference of two terms, lagay natin sum and difference. So, kung meron tayong a plus b times a minus b equals siya sa a squared minus b squared. Which means, kung meron tayong 5a plus 3 5a plus 3 times 5a minus 3 all we need to do to multiply this is to find the square of 5a so, magkakaroon tayo ng a squared minus b squared. At sa, sino ba si a? a is equal to 5a at b is equal to 3. So, that means gagawin lang natin is, is square natin si 5a at is square natin si 3 at ang sign natin would be minus. So, what is 5a quantity square? It's not 5a squared but it's 25a squared minus 9. At ito ngayon yung product natin na hinahanap para dito sa ating special case ng ating binomial. We square 5a, we square 3, and we have 25a squared minus 9. Now, parehas pa rin po ba ng sagot kapag ginamit natin yung FOIL method dito? Ang sagot, syempre, ay oo. Dahil kung meron tayong 5a plus 3, and 5a minus 3, 5a times 5a is 25a squared. This one will give us 5 times 3, which is negative 15a. This will give us positive 15a. And this will give us negative 9. And we know that by combining like terms, negative 15a plus 15a will turn into 0. And we are left with 25a squared minus 9 which is the same answer as what we got from using the formula, which is yung difference of two squares. So, pag nakakita tayo ng ganitong pattern, pwede natin gamitin yung special case ng product natin tulad nito. So, kung meron tayong x minus 6 times 5x plus 2, pwede ba natin gamitin yung ating uh, special product or special formula for this particular case? Unfortunately, hindi dahil si A at si B nung ating first binomial ay kaiba sa A and B nung ating second binomial. So in this particular case, hindi natin pwedeng gamitin yung formula natin for this particular problem. So how are we going to answer this particular problem? x minus 6 multiplied to 5x plus 2. We will multiply it using the FOIL method. Dahil hindi siya special case ng binomial, hindi siya square ng ating binomial, at hindi din siya sum and difference ng ating binomial. So, by multiplying this, we have 5x squared. This one is 2x. This one is negative 6 times 5 is 30x. 
and this will give us negative 12 and by combining like terms we'll have 2x minus 30x which is equal to negative 28x and then bring down 5x squared and negative 12 and we have our answer for this particular problem which is 5x squared minus 28x minus 12 which is check na check dito sa ating answer sa problem na ito. At yan yung ating lesson for today kaya ang ating number bender challenge would be using our special cases ng ating mga binomial. Can you give me the product of quantity 12a minus 3 squared na gumagamit ng ating mga special cases o yung tugmang case para dito sa problem na ito. At yan ang ating lesson sa algebra. It's represent or presenting you with another method on how we multiply binomials, specifically special cases of binomials. So it's all about looking for patterns, identifying that pattern, and using the appropriate formula kung paano tayo mag-multiply ng mga special cases ng binomial na ito. However, kung sa tingin nyo ay nalimutan nyo yung mga formula ninyo at wala kayong cheat sheet sa harap, you can always revert back to our FOIL method which is going to give you the same result when you multiply polynomials similar to what we had today. This is Dr. E and see you again next time. Bye!